Hi, my name is Dan Weiss, and I'm the product manager of Microsoft Learning Labs. Today, I'll be continuing the series of how to use Labs Online. We've already seen how to purchase Labs Online at Courseware Library, and today we'll be looking at how do you use the licenses you've purchased to set up and distribute them to your class for real-time consumption. To, out, and here is where I'd like to share Microsoft Learning's portal, Learning Central. This portal covers the digital training for our e-learning um, business to business customers. And for the sake of this um, video, our CPLSs via our partner training site and our students for our, our CPLSs in the learner portal. The first step you will need to do is sign in. You need to sign in using Windows Live ID. If you do not have a Windows Live ID address, you will have to create one. After signing in, you might have multiple options. This Windows Live ID has the ability to be a student in a course, so as a learner, students would be clicking here, or as a partner or MCT through the partner. MCTs might have multiple organizations, but for me, I only have one, and I will be clicking here. Sharon CPLS, that is our demo organization click on this arrow and then I move my portal over mouse over to here and I'm just checking my video making sure everything is working good because hey I want to make sure this video looks good for you guys I'm going to click on schedule online labs and online training this will allow me to set up a class I'm going to be looking at using our SQL licenses but they're already in use so instead I cannot be using that and I will instead be looking at using our high availability messaging solution licenses. We have 33 of them, and I went too quickly. My apologies, under available licenses. On this page, you'll be able to set up your class and say you want a class of 15 students. And the class is going to be taught next month on the 20th through the 24th. And here's one of the great things we've done on Learning Central. If you have live meeting access, Microsoft Learning will not be selling it, and it can be bought on Microsoft.com or any other sort of live online meeting um, software or service. You can enter the URL for the presenter here and also for the attendee over here. This will allow your CPLS to offer distance learning. Now the presenter will be the MCT and the attendee will be the students. I will not be demoing this functionality though for this presentation. So now you can see what material will be offered. You can see the, what sort of labs are available here. And then whether or not you want only the instructor to access them or if you want both. On demand means that these labs are not as, at a scheduled time. Now I'm going to add an instructor. And I always wanted to be an instructor, so I'm going to add myself in. And then click Next here. And then click on the upload resources. On this page, I'm already included the sandbox guide. The sandbox guide covers how these VM environments were configured so that I have the ability to, as an instructor, modify the lab steps and understand what my environment's play in is. I also have the lab manual included. So this is the high level and detailed step-by-step -step lab answer keys that you find in Mock and Digital Mock today. Clicking on next, I then review the class setup Make sure it's all good, and I click Save. So the class details were saved. Now all I need to go to manage the class. So we've taught a lot of classes here at Microsoft Learning, and here's my class right here. The 15 users with no registered students. I need to manage the students now. So I need to include a few students here, and I use that arrow to move them over, click on Next, and then I want to generate an offer code for them so that they can register if they want to on Learning Central. This offer code will then go out into a generic email that is sent from Learning Central at Microsoft.com. This email allows the students to register on the Learner portal so that they can access the content. I am not going to be sending this offer code due to the fact that it will literally go out to these users. With that, I conclude setting up the course and distributing the offer code. Let's say I want the course to go live. I then go back and I look at the course here and I launch the class. Simple as that. Well, with that, I conclude setting up and launching the course. 
you have any questions, feedback, or would like to be involved in helping us develop the rapidly developing Learning Central, please contact us. Thank you for listening. And stay tuned to the next episode in which we will be showing how MCTs access the site and launch a, or access the course material and review student progress. Thank you for your time.